know they're going to call the cops on us, right? We're partying too hard. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm yeah, he's healed. Now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Is the little Just kid going to be rude and get, get him kicked out? Sure. Respect the house. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom? And Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh... Everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Them having family to hang out with for an episode Take care at least of and, uh, is interesting too. Uh, mushroom, please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Trials was this episode? Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Is he use magic powers and accidentally break something? Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Why is old, why is the eyes rolling the back of his head like that? It's the Undertaker. Feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. They did it. I, I mean, that. that's awesome. They survived. Oh, Plus that little kid should really, that little kid should really proud of himself. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. Is he gonna get thrown out for practicing witchcraft when he it's saves been a while. Captain Awesome from falling out of the tree? Check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. Do we get reunited with Mom at the end of the game? Going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. Wait, does it hurt? That, yeah, before he freaking kills himself doing magic. It's kind of itchy, though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. So, of course, when we no, save no. the kid, is when we start asking questions. Okay. Makes don't sense. Show, don't talk. Just don't keep save kids. Everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
He'd be a little puppy, a little pup, wouldn't he? Cubs or bears? Dogs or pups? There's a lot of crap going on inside my house. Flashing lights. Everything's falling apart outside in my world. And in their world, at least it's not snowing. Claire's popping off. Oh, we got Legos. I could sleep all day long in this bed. Ooh, we got Legos. Oh, but I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Yeah, but be proud of that, man. At least sweet memories we pretty badass. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. It's like Pokemon. The puppy. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. So, the Captain Spirit's house. I don't know if we're in the front or the back of the house. To know which way to look for the other thing. Sounds like Grandpa's partying with Daniel. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so... This is a sweet train set, holy okay? shit. Okay. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. So he actually looks like he made the town? With the train, pretty much? Fishies. I see one in the bottom I get middle. My dad never brought us down here. Why? That seems weird. Nothing's happened yet. There it is. The legendary treehouse of Captain Spirit. That's that's oh it's such a good touch. I get hyped about stupid things. I'm sorry. I think oh that's a nice my. touch. Look who's awake. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a bald star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. That sounds very sexual in nature. I love how they're getting along. Let's be nice. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Dumb roll. Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but See? not my kitchen. See, Sean should go fix that for her and be a nice boy.
Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. There's a nice neighbor boy. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. Yes, here he comes. I'll try to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. He lost his wife and... Let's go talk to him. him. Been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Going on back there. What a jerk Nothing. kid. Oh, <laughs> I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something. Are we be friends with the kid before we save him or after? That locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And be nice Besides, to Grandma. It's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Ah. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Sean. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? This is Aspie when we save him, right? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. Woo! It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. So because of the kind of game it is. Was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanya will freak. Thank you. I wonder where this was taken. The Wild West. Picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where this was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. That's so cool. Did you guys ever go anywhere else? That's as far outside of the country as we want to go. There's plenty to see around here. I think I've seen more than enough. I get it, but... Don't let what happened turn you away from this country. It's still your home, Sean. Yeah, well... I just need some time. I 
guess. I know, sweetie. She's very nice to us. Nice fireplace, baller TV, dirty old lady books. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. She's a pretty good grandma. Definitely gotta give her credit. Breathe kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. This is still a weird way to draw things. Aw. You had a dog? Yes. Old Polly left us three years ago. Hmm. She's still with us. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Yeah, we're doing, I mean, every picture I draw, of course she is. we're doing the right way. But she's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. We need the full effect of everywhere we've been. That's all there's to it. Look at all these decorations. Put them up. That's so cool. I mean, that box isn't that cool. Got an easel. Oh, so are you excited about the tree, Daniel? Of course I am. When do we start? I'll get it this way. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. It's, it's the orange one at the bottom. Yo, Steve-O. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Well, yeah, where is he? Daniel's going nuts in here. <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got it. Right, so that's mom's room. I kind of don't give a fuck. <laughs> I would never get that haircut. Where's now? Where's. I need a handy assistant. Come with trains, boy. Hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me. Sure. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Is Grandpa hey, gonna die uh, next, or someone? Can you close the door? I want to. Talk for a second. Oh. This is all the makings of someone getting trapped underneath that. Or it falls uh, on Daniel and he hawks out. Cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? He's not like other boys. Um, that's not that's not even up for debate. Not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like some kind of invisible force. Okay, so Grandpa knows the holy gift or something. Um. Yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. They're running the family? And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. And she's a thing, she's the devil. 
wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is... I'm an old maybe man. you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. I will torture hey, myself. Uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. We want to soak up the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. <laughs>